Thank you for having us. Uh, Nick and I will go through um, what we have presented the last couple of weeks ago at Build. Uh, and this is kind of an exciting uh, topic that we are working together. Nick and the rest of the engineering team have done a terrific job building something that is uh, um, tackling and basically focused on uh, uh, power users and citizen developers. So basically the ability to create custom copilots in Microsoft Copilot Studio and surface these copilots in Viva Connections. And one of the things about this uh, scenario that you will see is that this is uh, very much one of the first uh, interpretations that we have within Microsoft uh, is as a multi product integration that is uh, a copilot that doesn't speak text, but it speaks adaptive card. So the journey here is that you start in Copilot Studio where you design your flow and you design your copilot. Uh, you can build your copilot by yourself. Microsoft Copilot Studio now also use copilot to build copilots. So interesting. This is kind of a Christopher Nolan Inception movie. But it's useful because you can start and basically ask the copilot to help you uh, building the copilot based on the, your needs and, and, and requirements. And then you can connect to external data using one of the 1500 uh, on plus uh, uh, power apps connectors. You can build your connector and then you can define your prompt. Uh, and then when you design your responses, you can now start leveraging adaptive card so that the output from the copilot itself is no longer text, but it's basically UX that is generated based on the flow that you designed in the copilot. Uh, then when you're done, you as an operator go back to Viva Connections and then you can basically use the card designer card to create a connection between your copilot and Viva Connection. You will see in the demo that uh, Nick is about to show that you will have an option to select the existing copilots or to connect directly to Copilot Studio. Then when the, the copilot, the, the adaptive card uh, or the adaptive card extension is published to the organization, that is just like any other ACE. Uh, it can be used in multiple dashboard. It can use agents targeting to target the specific users. And of course, just like any other ACEs, it works on Teams desktop, a web browser, and mobile. So what you will see, Nick, if you can click one more time, please. Thank you very much. You basically, in, Copilot, in Card Designer, you will see that you are able to see all the copilots that have been published for Viva Connections. You will be able to connect to Copilot Studio, and then you will see that in the card, you can either uh, promote some of the prompts that you defined in the Copilot Studio in the card view itself. So you can basically bring those prompts to a more uh, prominent real estate if you need some of the actions to be immediately available for the uh, user without going to the quick view. And then all the quick view that you will see are completely powered by Copilot uh, that was built in Copilot Studio. With that said, let me put the light to the start of the show, which is Nick with his demo. All right. Good morning, everyone. So I only had a half of a coffee latte, um, but I'll try to be quick. Uh, so what you see right here um, is a Viva Connections dashboard. And we're going to kind of start our flow here. Um, you could also start in the Copilot Studio. Um, but you can basically now come to your dashboard, and we're going to add a new card. Um, Sorry, right Nick, now, can you zoom in a bit? Any chance you can zoom in oh, a yes. bit? It's super, yes, super, yes, super yes. small. I so. can zoom. Excellent. I'm using Excellent. my extra large monitor. OK, yes. so um, here we're going to add a card designer card. Um, the integration right now is going uh, with Copilot Studio is going through this card. Um, we're looking at uh, in the future, you know, potentially making an even easier option where um, when someone creates a Copilot um, and publishes it to Viva Connections, it'll actually show up as its own icon here in the toolbox. Uh, but for now, uh, what we're going to demo is just through the card designer. So as you can see, we've added a new template type. Um, this is for Copilot Studio. So we go ahead and this. Right now, we don't have any copilots published, so you kind of get this little placeholder view. Uh, we're going to go ahead and click Create a Copilot, and this is going to take us over to the uh, Copilot Studio, which is where you would actually go build your bot um, that, again, goes and it's actually extremely flexible. It's sort of a GUI editor um, for building these workflows. Um, you can connect to all sorts of different connectors. Um, you can basically respond to card actions with adaptive card markup that then gets displayed in Viva Connections. 
and so I'm not going to quite demo that here because uh, the bot that I'm going to show off here is a little more complicated than we could build uh, in this demo. Uh, but here are some screenshots from Copilot Studio, kind of what it looks like. Uh, you can see that there is a stock assist bot. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and edit this stock assist bot. And you can see that there's sort of this concept of triggers uh, and then responses to triggers. In this case, the response is an adaptive card. Uh, and then again, this thing might have more additional triggers such as when a button's clicked. So you can kind of come in here and uh, you can define specific actions that occur when a, uh, a trigger event is taken. Uh, in this case, we built this special action called get products v1. This is actually talking uh, through a REST API to um, a, basically a service that's gonna give us a list of products that are available for our Copilot. Uh, so we can go in here, we can configure it. Um, we're gonna, that's gonna return some data to the bot here in Copilot Studio. And then we're gonna format that data in Copilot Studio using adaptive card markup. Uh, and then once you're happy with your markup and how it looks, which you can preview over here on the side in Copilot Studio, uh, you will basically publish your Copilot. And then lastly, what's been added is this concept of uh, or we've added a, a channel for Viva Connections to the Copilot Studio. This basically lets you publish your bot to all sorts of different workflows. So you can see Microsoft Teams, Slack, et cetera. Um, but publishing to Viva Connections will basically tell SharePoint that the bot is available for use in the card designer and uh, as well as potentially in the tool toolbox. <clears throat> so once this gets published, uh, let's go back over to here. So we'll say that this bot has been published now. Oh, and my screen size has messed up the preview slightly, zooming in. Always an issue. Anyway, um, so you can see here that now we've got a stock assist bot. We can sort of come in and configure some properties on this card. I'm gonna zoom out just a little bit. There we go. Uh, we can configure properties on this card. You can kind of make it look like however you want. Uh, so in this case, we may wanna say, check our inventory levels. Um, this specific bot that we built uh, is kind of aimed at frontline workers. It allows them to check inventory levels of particular products and potentially order more when inventory gets low. So you can imagine you're walking around on a mobile phone. Um, you can use this nice GUI uh, to, to interact with a bot that does something powerful. Uh, again, as Luca pointed out, there's also kind of this concept of prompts. So we can elevate these high-level prompts here, these requests new order and view existing order prompts. We can bring them into the card, um, which is nice because that will just let you launch into a, a particular workflow. But for now, we're just gonna go ahead and, and use a description text. So uh, let's just say, click this card to view inventory and... Awesome, right? So this card is uh, configurable just like another, any other card designer card. And when we're done here, we're going to go ahead and close this card, republish the page. And we'll see down here our bot in the bottom right of the Viva Connections dashboard. Uh, so when we go ahead and click on this card, you'll now see that we are actually communicating with the bot um, that I've already built. Uh, and these responses are actually coming directly from the bot, um, which is pretty cool. Because that again, that bot is also talking to external services via the connectors. So in this case, we're going to go ahead and let's say a new order. Uh, you see a list of products that we could order. Let's go ahead and look at the Surface Pro 10. And again, all of this is actually live communicating with the bot. I haven't actually written any code in Viva Connections. I haven't built an ACE. Um, all we've done is define um, sort of adaptive card markups and. Uh, event handlers for different actions that can be taken on a card. Uh, so again, we're in here. Let's go ahead and um, say, I don't know, we want three Surface Pros. Our inventory is very low and we want some of those new uh, AI features uh, that were just mentioned last month. Uh, awesome. So now we go ahead and we've successfully requested this order. Um, again, the bot has gone and um, sent something off and uh, and order this new product. So yeah, really cool um, 
sort of experience here for building new uh, experiences of Viva Connections without having to write a ton of code, just writing adaptive card markup and leveraging the power of Copilot Studio, um, its connectors, uh, its AI features, et cetera, uh, to basically bring these awesome experiences to your end users. And with that, I will hand it back to Luca. To 